And problem number four is a process has uh, uh, an enthalpy equal to uh, 30 kilojoules per mole. And uh, an entropy change is equal to 100 joules per mole K. And at what temperature is this process going to be spontaneous? And this one goes back to that. Remember that little table I said you should make up every day between now and the end of time or the next test? retake in this case, um, um, was all the conditions under which uh, the uh, a process is going to be spontaneous and the inflection occurs when the free energy is equal to zero. And since, and recall that since uh, 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 delta G uh, naught is equal to delta H naught minus T and the inflection is going to occur when that's equal to zero. Therefore, we're interested in the temperature equal to the enthalpy divided by the entropy. And so this then becomes very straightforward. The only, the big mistake that people make when they're solving this, when, they're, when I see it on the test, is you have to recognize the fact that the enthalpy stated in kilojoules and the yeah. entropy stated in joules. And that's how the way they occur in standard thermodynamic tables as well. So we have to convert them to the common unit in order to be able to manipulate them. And so uh, the temperature is going to be equal to, um, let's, let, let's write, write this. I'm going to write it as 3 times 10 to the, what, 4 joules per mole divided by, let's call this 1 times 10 squared joules per mole, K. And now, it, it, you can easily see how the, temperature. The, the, the units cancel, and I'm indeed in Kelvin, where I should be. And it's even easier now to do the math, because we just use the rules with exponents. And scientific notation was developed for that very reason. It, it's just much more convenient to handle it. I'll need to be able to divide 3 by 1. And that's, you know, I get out my calculator and I found out that, that I, my, my prayer rug got on my knee pads and found that 3 divided by 1 is indeed 3. And then I, I have to use the rules with exponents. What do the rules with exponents have me do when I take 10 to the fourth and divide it by 10 to the second? I subtract the exponents. So it's 3 times 4 minus 2. And i got to get my prayer rug out again. What's 4 minus 2? Dang, it was, what, 4 minus 2? 4 is, take away 2, it's 2. That's what Black would say. So it's 3 times 10 to the 2. Uh, uh, and that would be for K, Kelvin in this case, and that's equal to, we can retranslate this back, what's that equal to? 300. Okay. Is that cool? That's cool. No. That was one of those problems I put on there as a gimme. That's five points. And so I'm really not going to be uh, uh, very sympathetic to anybody who doesn't get that five points. Okay. I should be, but I'm not. Okay. 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 So everybody got that one? Okay.